What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Remastered Mod Showcases on my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a super sick day and today we are going to be looking at the Heck Fiend Armour. This armor is absolutely savage. I mean, if you like law and you like doing things to get the armor, instead of just going and smith it, if you like a little bit of a backstory, then uh, this is the armor for you. We have covered this author's mods so many times. They're absolutely amazing and they just keep getting better. I, I really, I just breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. So, once you've downloaded it, as always, the links are in the description below. You are going to need to head over to this small map marker over here, which is located here. Now I am going to currently go into the Fiend Void, don't worry about the one next to it, it's literally here, the Fiend Void, if we zoom all the way in, which we can do like that, I a little bit too much fallout so I keep forgetting the buttons, the Fiend Void there is actually right next to Riften, if we go west to Riften, I believe it's west, never, never eat shredded wheat, yep, <laughs> go west of river and it should be there the fiend void once you get there as well there should be a guardian a giant skeleton guardian be careful as well because he is very very hard to kill um, i actually have to equip some god gear which i've got on now to actually kill the fiend and what happens is when you kill him eventually it allows you to get a key that key unlocks the void you need to kill him to enter this particular zone otherwise it will i will just say requires a key and won't let you in so bear that in mind if you are adventuring into this void aka the actual mod so probably thinking well you know what after this what happens when i enter well basically after this you're going to need to farm basically the whole entire game and what i mean by that is you can be crafted with uh Fallen souls and fallen skulls drop from skeleton, wisps, uh, and dragons, and I think ghosts. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure dragons. Basically, I think anything undead, correct me if I'm wrong, anything undead that you do kill actually drops these fallen souls throughout the game. So that's a whole new mechanic to that as well, which is absolutely savage. For me, I only got five that actually dropped from the guardian that was outside of this, so I can't actually show you in detail the armor i can to a degree of what it looks like and the armor values that's awesome i can't obtain it myself i like to do a mod showcase i don't like to spend hours and hours and hours sort of literally grinding a whole video to try and do this, this is absolutely insane so we've got the keys so we're going to enter towards this new world now once you get in you're going to be a little bit taken away because i've actually personally seen nothing like it and as you can tell it does remind me of the old superman sort of episodes when they were um i can't remember where they were fighting but as you can tell, just down by the left, you can't fall off for the way, so don't worry too much about that. As you can tell, there's two guardians down the bottom, and on what I believe is a forge. So if you head on all the way down, do not worry, once you're in here, they actually seem you as worthy, because obviously you killed the guardian outside. The guardian is just basically a floating skeleton, very hard to kill by own mind. But once you get in here, they will not attack you. Heads up as well, because I have tried, and I have done this video before, prior to this, and it absolutely balls up. That uh, do not attack these guys. Not on the fact of that they well they are quite strong. Not on the fact of anything else. Apart from they are incredibly strong, and that due comes down to the armor. And I will show you all the base attacks here. So we got the armor here. Just generally, let's have a little look. You cannot talk to them, by the way. But if you do attack them, they will sort of speak their na native tongue, tongue, which is whatever that is. And then when they attack you, I'm not too sure what it is, but um. It's freaking weird. This is a strange place to be. So as you can tell, possibilities on this are obviously the full set of armor and the weapons, which is kind of cool. As I say, you can't talk to them, so it's a little bit unfortunate. It would be nice to have a little chat with them as well. There's a, another guy in here as well with another sword. You get a forehand and a normal sword. I believe this is going to be the forehand one. One is up, one is down. Pretty damn cool. Wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't want to stab myself with that, but that's fine. The armor does look sick, and the armor valley rating as well is absolutely insane. And once you get down to the lower level, which is the end of the level, there seems to be two guys here. Now, I think these two are the main ones. Again, they don't talk, so we don't know anything about them in particular. But as you can tell, this one straight ahead has an absolute freaking beast of a scythe. You can get all of this, by the way. Everything you see on these guys, you can get even that hammer. That hammer is absolutely insane, for, by the way, for damage. I think it's near enough 800 damage, which is freaking insane. Uh, the armor as well, which looks awesome. If you just have a look, a look at the back as well, it seems like they've got sort of a strange writing, almost to the lot where the fact of the law of the Dovahkiin, the Dragonborn, obviously got that writing in game as well. It's normally glowed up and scribbled on a wall, but uh, no, it, it does look really nice. They don't talk at all. These two, I was hoping one of them would talk, maybe at the end, but they don't. 
But um, that scythe, Jesus. And that's pretty quick as well. I did attack them, as I said prior to this. But once you get in here and once you've collected a shite lot of souls, as I said before, fallen souls do drop from ghouls, ghosts, any basically anything undead, wisps, and other stuff like that. If you want a full description, make sure to go and read the description within the forum. Again, links are in the description if you go and read that. Once we head over to the forge, obviously you can make loads of different things here. So, as you can tell, uh, it's really kind of nice. I don't, this kind of reminds me of. Um, I'm kind of like what a Warcraft when you have to grind arena points to get something. This is what it definitely does remind me of. They allow you to use the forge, which is great. It's an old coin, you're gonna need 50 fallen souls from that. We've only got five, unfortunately. And the big one here, which is the fiendish coin, uh, the value of 5,000, which is a hell no from me because 100 fallen souls is gonna take you quite a while. So you've got to find all those sort of uh, things that I said but prior to this. But look at this. This is basically God God armor in a nutshell. Um, I wouldn't say that it's sort of given to you, and I wouldn't say it's OP. The fact of that you have to grind this to get this armor, I think it's well deserved. I wouldn't say it was like a cheap sort of like what I'm wearing right now, which is basically I walk to a chest, I have loads of God gear, I can run around one shot, everything. This is kind of a grind. This is kind of like one of those things where... You sort of sit back and think, I did that. I did the grind. And I really do like that in these mods. So obviously, with this, you're going to need six fiendish coins, which I believe is going to be 600 fallen souls in total. I'm not too sure what the variation of drop rate is on the fallen souls for those particular things I did list as well. So you might have to go and check those out as well. Weight 50, very nice for heavy armor. Armor value is insane. Value for this is 9,000, a little low for me, but then again, once you get this, I don't think you're ever going to sell it. And if you do, I'm going to slap you in the face because it's taken you probably hours to get it. Again, the same thing with the boots as well, looking absolutely beautiful. And again, the thing I love about this art artist that does all these mods is there's no vanilla textures. The texture that this person uses is literally their own, which is absolutely great. So you've got the gauntlets as well, looking absolutely sick. The amount of detailing just on this zone, and as we look at the guys or the guardians back as well for the armor, there's loads of this little writing as well. I believe it's to do with them in general. is absolutely brilliant. Those clawed fingers as well look sick. This is on about fiend hex fiend hammer as well. Damage of 765, which is absolutely insane. Weight 31 and value of 4,000. Requirements for this is a Daedric Warhammer and 30 old coins. Now if I was honest and if I was trying to get the gear and I was trying to grind it, the first thing I'd probably rush is a weapon. This one in particular, not only does it look absolutely awesome, but the fact of it as well, it is 600 and, or 765 damage. I mean come on, that is ridiculous damage just for 30 old coins as well. That's no fiendish coins if we look at the math on that as well. The helmet, absolutely sick helmet that value of armor is absolutely insane weight 15 and value of 3800 coins a little bit low on that fiendish coins daedric and old coins to require this the scythe is probably the best thing ever it's actually coming out the bottom of a skull which is sick i think it's kind of like a blue it reminds me of a non meshed sword that's sticking out of the can you see that maybe from this angle you can Daedric sword sticking up the top there. Uh, I don't think. Wow, you need a hex fiend sword forearm and a hex fiend hammer to make this. Even though the damage on that one is what is lower? Come on now, the scythe should have been a lot higher. Hex fiend backhand and forehand. Two different ones there, both with 109 DPS weight of 16. Again, the same requirements to craft those is Daedric swords and old coins. So the easiest thing to get, obviously, is the Daedric, and the hardest thing is to get those fallen souls, which we talked about, to make these coins. Fallen souls equals coins equals some absolute sick armor. Guys, if you did enjoy this mod showcase, hit me up with a like and a comment. I'm very sorry that I cannot actually go into detail, get the armor and try it out myself. It might be a future video, but as it currently stands, this armor is incredibly hard to get. Like, if, if you're one of those people that have finished the game, you're looking for something to do, this is going to be it, because not only at the end of the day, you're going to have a super sick armor, you are going to be freaking god tier. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's worth the grind? I personally do think it is, purely because the armor values are absolutely insane. I'm a little bit upset that they don't talk, but I suppose that's kind of mysterious at the same time. 
Guys, thanks ever so much for watching. This has been Killer Kev, and Killer Kev out.